Before we begin, make sure that you have properly exported a CAD model from either Inventor or Fusion 360 with our appropriate exporter. More information about the exporting process can be found in our exporting tutorials. When landing into Synthesis, you will be launched into an example default plane, gridded after Inventor and Fusion 360's drawing planes. This is a great time to familiarize yourself with some basic operations like changing your fields and robots, resetting your robot, and changing your camera view. You can't access the game pieces and scoring tabs until you load into a field. So let's get started by changing our field. To load in a different field, navigate to the Home tab and click on the Change Field button. By default, Synthesis will search for your Username, App Data, Roaming, Autodesk, Synthesis, Field Directory path. You can change your default directory by clicking on the Change Directory button. Next, select a field from the loaded list of fields and then click Change to load a new field. To load in a different robot, navigate to the Home tab, then click on Change Robot. From here, you can select an exported robot or a mix and match robot. Mix and match robots allow you to create your own robot with pre-configured parts, manipulators, and drivetrains. Now that I have changed my robot, you can practice driving with the default controls using the arrow keys. You can access these default controls in the menu panel by clicking on the menu button, then navigating to robot controls. Here you will find all of your robot's controls in which you can modify and learn about more. Uh oh, it's time to reset your robot. If your robot flips or you need to change the position of your robot, click on the reset drop down to access different options. There are many viewpoints provided in the simulator to give everyone a chance to experience their simulation like competitions. To change the camera angle, click on the change view drop down and select an option. You can also toggle the various views with the default C key on your keyboard.